Welcome to this video on setting up and using ClearStatus, a status page system we created for our own usage at willowpress.com. What do you need to get started? Two things, a GitHub account and a Netlify account. Both are free and very easy to sign up for. To create your GitHub account, visit github.com and on the sign up page, enter a username, your email address and a password. Click the sign up button and you'll receive an email with the link you need to click to validate your email address and that's it. Now on to Netlify. At netlify.com, select the sign up menu item and you'll be presented with several choices to register with Netlify. You can use your GitHub account or GitLab account. We'll just register with our email, so click that, enter your email address, a password, Click the sign up button and you also receive an email from Netlify with a link to validate your registration. With this done, we can now move on to actually installing ClearStatus. First visit clearstatus.org slash github install. This takes us to the Netlify project setup page and the first thing it needs is to connect to our GitHub account where all the data is going to be stored. So let's click on the connect to GitHub button this opens up a pop-up, a GitHub pop-up, where we can log into our account and where you might be prompted for authorization to let Netlify access your account. Just do that. Last thing to do, rename the project. Uh, let's use ClearStatus demo and then we click save and deploy and that's pretty much it. Netlify starts working on deploying our website to their infrastructure. We can see now that the site is being deployed and it will take just a few more seconds until the actual URL where the site is available is shown. And here it is. Okay, uh, you'll be able to change that to your own domain, of course. We'll see that later in this video. Let's click and see how it looks like. Uh, there we are. There you go. Uh, your full status page with sample content and ready to be customized, which we are going to do next. Certainly the easiest way to customize ClearStatus is to use Netlify built-in content management system. Uh, so the first step for us is going to enable this CMS from Netlify control panel. Uh, over on the settings page, we'll select the identity menu item and from there, enable identity. Next, go to registration and on the registration page make sure invite only is selected because we only want our users to be able to customize our page scroll down a little bit on services enable git getaway this will briefly open a github pop-up but we are already logged in so all is fine netlify cms configuration is nearly complete scroll back up to the identity page right here and on this page we'll be able to invite those users we want to be able to customize our uh, status page this is very simply done by clicking the invite users button and enter one or more email addresses in the pop-up that shows up for now we'll just invite ourselves and netlify is sending us uh, an email let's uh, let's grab this email and see what it looks like it's got an accept the invite link and clicking on that takes us to a page where we can complete the sign up process by entering um, a password of our choosing so let's copy paste a password from our password manager and click the sign up button and we are done and we have now arrived to the Netlify CMS main control panel. It has two sections you can select on the left, settings and events, events being the events that will appear on your status page. Let's start with the settings. Status page configuration, and here we are. These settings will let us define how our status page will look, um, the content of the footer, of the header, date formats. Let's just start by changing the main title the base url is something only needed when using the commenting system so we'll skip over that language code change it 
as needed and then we arrive at the most probably the most important part of the configuration this is where we tell clear status which systems we are going to report on our sample data has two systems a website and a help desk and we're going to keep them for the purpose of this demonstration let's customize them though i will click on the website title each system is defined by name and optional description and link let's change the link for our website set it up to weeblepress.com and now do the same for the help desk we're going to change the link to it to our actual help desk weeblepress.com slash help desk feel free to adjust the description and possibly add more systems it's simple as clicking this button and adding more name description and link let's remove this one next up is the date format the one will be used to display events uh, it defaults to the am pm format so let's change that to for instance a 24 hours display we can do that simply by entering a sample timing and clear status will just use that directly there's also a short date format and a time zone string which is a free text you can change to whatever you like next you can change the logo that's displays near the top of the page it's actually optional note that if you change the logo you will need to upload the actual image file and we'll see how to do that just a bit later next setting is the meta description tag uh, it might be used by such engines to display your uh, status page so i would suggest that you customize it we're just going to add our company name here and we arrive at the header and footer descriptions which are optional let's see what it is this is this text and this text here at the bottom so of course you need to customize that we're going to do it fairly simply by changing the website name and address on the default text there we are and finally change the copyright holder name to WebPress, and that's it we won't be using discuss short name as we won't be using discuss for adding comments to our status page so let's just go up and publish now our changes as soon as we do that netlify starts rebuilding the entire website or the entire status page with the new settings and it will take another few seconds before it's ready let's reload the page and wait a bit more almost there there we go the header now has our name and the links are as we expected them to be and the footer likewise so next up change content there are several ways to update and add content to our status page but the simplest is to use netlify cms so this is what we are going to do let's go back to the cms page in netlify oh by the way this is the media button you should use to upload your images whether your logo or otherwise now let's go to the events section this is where all our content is entered we currently have two items the sample data and the first thing we want to do is remove them so open the page click the delete entry button and then do the same for the second entry good we now have a clean slate so let's start by adding a new event let's assume our website is down we can do that by clicking well the new events button and this takes us to an entry form where we can enter a title for our event website is down set the time for the event which is now the event is in progress let's not change that it's not pinned the severity is down the website is currently absolutely down we have no idea of the duration it's don't know when it's been resolved uh, okay what are the affected systems we can select here the website the help desk is fine and finally we can enter a description our website is currently down and that's enough we can now click the publish button and from there publish now and from there netlify will take over and rebuild the status page we're going to switch over to it reload and after a few seconds we should see our event 
yep, it's ready now. So we can see here that the header has turned red, something's happening. And we can see our description of the event. The website is down, our website is currently down. We can see the severity of the issue and which item is affected. This is the severity, it's down, and the website is affected by this issue. And the table showing our system list has been updated to reflect the status of the website. Note that the event title is clickable and we get to a page with all the event details. It's a permanent URL. You can share on Twitter or elsewhere where all the data about a given event uh, is gathered together. Should you enable comments on events? This is where people can comment and read other people's comments. Let's go back to the main event list and then we can now update this event. Let's assume found the problem, fixed it, and we are now just monitoring the website to be sure nothing, the problem doesn't come back. Let's change the severity um, down to monitoring. And we are going also to add a note saying, well, just that. Fix the problem. Just monitoring now. And let's publish that. After the usual few seconds needed to rebuild the website by Netlify, we can reload the page and we should see the updated information. One more reload and here we go. Because the event now is only being monitored, the color displayed has changed. We're now monitoring and the status in the, in the system table has been updated as well. Let's assume the few minutes have passed. We want now to update and tell everybody that the problem is finally fixed. We're just going back to the Netlify CMS, change the status from in progress to resolved and set a date and time for the resolution of the problem. Let's say it was only a few minutes. There we go. And finally add a note to say everything is back to normal. Website is fully back up. Publish this update, final update. And this will, after the rebuild, this will generate a slightly changed layout. So let's reload. Let's reload, not there yet. Reload again. There we are. So the he header color is now back to green. Everything is normal. And, but we now have a past event entry here with all the details for this downtime. And we still have this URL, which is a permanent URL. Again, this is where you could have all the visitors comment back to normal. Now that we have seen a rather simplistic example, let's see a real life example. And that real life example is our own weeblopress.com status page. Let's switch over to weeblopress.wbstatus.com, which is the separate domain we use to host our status page. We host several systems, much more than in our example. And uh, fortunately, they're all green at the moment, all good. We did have some events in the past, our fair share. We can see here, for instance, that longer descriptions are hidden by default. You just click the plus sign to see the entire description. Here we also have a comment count, clicking on the details of the event. We can see by scrolling down that we have a, a commenting area. It's, this is running Discuss and enabling this on your status page basically only requires to enter your Discuss ID in the settings. Well, that's pretty much it. We have set up and used a, our status page built with clear status in the simplest way with Netlify CMS. Now there are many more customization options for the clear status and the documentation will take you through all of that. It's available at clearstatus.org which is currently the GitHub repository for the project. And the readme file is really an extensive description of everything possible with clear status. Probably one of the first things you'll want to do next is use a custom domain for your status page. So let's look at that. 
It's really simple and it's done through Netlify itself. You've got a full description of that here in the documentation. And this is what will take you from the complicated URL that Netlify is providing you by default to your own domain or subdomain, such as the one we use for WebPress.com status page. Note that when using a custom domain, Netlify will automatically provide you with an SSL certificate for that page. While we've seen already probably the most important features of Clear Status, there is more. And the first bonus is probably multilingual support. Clear Status comes with full multilingual support. It means that you can report on identical or separate issues per language. Enabling multilingual support should be done in clear status configuration file. And the last bonus, pinned events. What are they? Well, just regular events that you mark as pinned. And when you do that, this event will be displayed permanently at the top of the page. We designed this for security alerts, things that should be displayed at the top of the status page for a longer time, but your mileage may vary. Just use it as you see fit. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and let us know if you find clear status useful.